everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I want to show you um, uh, a little sweeping arpeggio uh, riff that um, just follows, you can just use it to follow over the top of a chord progression. So I'm doing this in E minor, but this is a movable shape, so you can just move it around to whatever key uh, that you want to play it in. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look. All right, so we're starting off. We're going to, uh, the, the chord progression would be, you'd have two measures of E minor, one measure of C major, one measure of D major, and then back to E minor again. So we start off, we've got this first arpeggio shape here that, that uh, uses all six strings. So I'm starting off here, I've got my first finger on the 12th fret, because that's uh, of the low E, that's your um, E. So we're, that's where I said we're starting on E minor. So I'm going to pick that, and then I do a hammer on to the 15th fret with my fourth finger. And then from there I go to the 14th fret of the A string with my third finger, and then roll that up to the 14th fret of the D string, then I go from there to the 12th fret of the G string with my first finger and roll up to the 12th fret of the B string and then roll up to the 12th fret of the high E. And then a hammer on to the 15th fret of the high E with my fourth finger. And then from there we slide up to the 19th fret. So when we slide up there, so now that we're going, that, so that was the first measure of E minor. So now we're sliding up here, and um, your fourth finger will end up on the 19th fret, and your first finger, you want it to land simultaneously at the 15th fret, because now we're going to do a uh, five string E minor arpeggio. So after we slide up, we do a pull off to that 15. Then we go to the B string, 17th fret with your middle finger, to the 16th fret of the G string with your first finger, back to the 17th fret on the uh, D string, and then finally to the uh, 19th fret on the A string, which is another E. Whoops. And then from there, we slide down a whole step to the 17th fret, and now we're going to ascend a D major. So this is another five string arpeggio. So we're 17 on the A string, to 16 on the D string, to 14 on the G string, 15 on the B string, 14 on the high E, and then 17. So when you get up to, that's going to be a hammer on. And now we just take this shape and we slide it down a whole step. So now our fourth finger is on the 15th fret, and our first finger is on um, the 12th fret. And it's that same arpeggio shape, and now we're just going to do it descending. So we pull off 15 to 12 to 13 on the B string, to 12 on the G string, to 14 on the D string, to 15 on the A string, and then we slide that up to the 19th fret, and now we're going to take that minor E minor shape that we did there before, and we're going to ascend it. So 19 on the A string, 15, or excuse me, 17 on the D string, uh, 16 on the G string, 17 on the B string, 15 on the high E, hammer to the 19th fret, and then slide up to the 22nd fret. Uh, I just do that to make it resolve. So if you don't have, um, a tw if your guitar does not have 24 frets, another way that you could do that is just go to the 22nd fret and bend it up a whole step. 
<clears throat> so, um, I did a lesson just recently um, that went over these five uh, string arpeggios and even had some tapping and stuff in there. So, uh, you might want to check that out so that way you can like learn these shapes better, and, you know, and uh, and you can add some more, you know, to it by you know maybe combining the two licks together. So I'll just leave a link for that video right here. All right, so that whole sequence again. Whoops. So then for your uh, right hand, for your picking hand, and I go into a lot more detail on this on that lesson that I uh, talked about just a second ago. <clears throat> uh, so I really recommend that you check that out. But the idea here is that when you do a, an arpeggio like this, you don't want it to be a bunch of individual downstrokes or individual upstrokes. You want it to be a long, continuous downstroke and then a long, continuous upstroke. So... See how like, I, I pick the sixth string here, and then I just let the pick come to a rest on the next string. Instead of, instead of having a bunch of separate little uh, pick strokes like that. So the same thing with uh, the other shapes. You just want it to be one long continuous pick stroke. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that and you got something out of it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Um, if there's anything that you would like to see covered in a future lesson on the channel by either myself or one of the other instructors, uh, leave a comment, let me know about that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, click the notification bell so that way uh, you get notified when we upload new content and you don't miss out anything. All right, so that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.